Previously on Australia's Next Top Model, the competition kicked into gear as the top 14 moved into the model mansion. We have a shop in our house. Who has a shop in their house? Plus, you guys are going through a one kilometer army assault course. It was the hardest thing I've ever done. The girls toughed it out in the photo shoot. As soon as I heard the words sporty luck, I was like, yep, I can do this. Some came out on top. She's a gun. But for Taylor, her time in the competition came to an end. into the competition now and I think all the girls are really feeling it. Last week I was in the bottom two. It was a horrible feeling and I never want to be in that position again. So this week I'm going to do well because if I just had another average photo, like I would be going home. I feel like this competition has saved me in a way. I just feel like if it wasn't for this competition, I'd just Like if it wasn't for the competition, I would be going nowhere. Yeah, I give it 100% every single week and I'm going to continue to do that. Jen Mail! Jen Mail! Good morning, girls. Models have style and grace. Forget yours and you'll have egg on your face. Jen was sort of saying like some poem rhyming Shakespeare thing. We were like, what? It was like Morse code, Da Vinci code. Dress as yourself, but try not to tease. I'll see you soon. And remember, ladies, say please. What? Oh, egg on your face. Oh, yeah. Egg oh, on your face. Okay, guys, let's go. Woo! I don't know much of Sydney, so pulling up, I was like, okay, where am I? Where are we? What is it? What? Well, this is fancy. Hi. Hi. Welcome to Elizabeth Bay House. Now, we know you girls have been working so hard and you've come so far in the competition. So you know what? Today is all about relaxing and enjoying the beautiful spread that we've put on for you. So enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> we were all like, what? What is going on? There were all these little muffins, macaroons, cakes and stuff, and it was like sort of like a little cute tea party. Yeah, it is high tea. This looks amazing. It was incredible. <laughs> this is so cute. Can you please pass the milk, please, Rhiannon? I'm a bit preoccupied at the moment. <laughs> I'll just stick to my tea. Where's the camera? Some of the girls were really trying to watch what they ate and other girls just stuffed their face with cake. Is anyone going to eat those for our shirts? I will. Oh, Jennifer, isn't that incredible? Chewing with a mother? I think they're just letting loose a little bit. Oh, they, they don't know they're being spied upon. Oh, this tea has got me to flutter. I'm flustered. I'm a bit flustered. Rhiannon, Taylor and Abby, they were putting on like really fake, you know, English accents and 
acting all posh. They might be minted jackets. But no, and I don't know, I was allergic She's to She's going for layered look. <laughs> She's going for the layered look. Um, Came right out of my rear end. <laughs> this will in an hour. It was kind of annoying because, I mean, it's just not polite to do those type of things. <laughs> oh, Jennifer, I think it's time to stop watching and to go in and teach them something. Very bad, <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hi, girls. June Daly Watkins and Jen walked in and were like, OK, what's happening now? <laughs> I'd like to introduce you to your hostess for today. This is June Daly Watkins. Okay, it's definitely an etiquette lesson. She has been a household name since before your parents were born and is regarded as Australia's first top model. She looks so gorgeous. She was in like 84, which is a surprise because she was all dolled up. You know, she was a model growing up as well, so she's such an icon as well in that sort of industry. So I'm going to leave you in her very capable hands. Bye. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hi. June Daly Watkins. A little bit scared. She's a bit old, so I'm kind of keen to see what she's going to try and teach us. I was going to say hello, young ladies. But you weren't the ones I heard screaming and yelling out there, yes? I think I can be an elegant lady when I want to be, but sometimes not really. <laughs> correct etiquette. What does correct etiquette mean? Good manners. Absolutely. And good manners means conducting yourself correctly in every way at all the time. June was there to teach us the proper way to pretty much act like a model. What are you wearing? Shorts. Stand up. <laughs> oh, darling. Oh, no, they're stuck to my thing. <laughs> <laughs> what? Do you think this is a good look? Does that look elegant and ladylike? No. I don't think it's elegant or ladylike. Sorry. I think it's cheap and common. That's what you have to watch out for. A lot of her opinions are very, very different to obviously our generation. And what you have to do now is try to make the center of your head between your ears touch the ceiling. Stand up straight, pull your shoulders back. So it's all about good posture. Not good. No, just, it's only the knee that, that's it. This one. I guess I don't no, take no, lessons no, as no, seriously. No. I mean, I'm older than a lot of the other girls. I've had a lot more life experience. I don't need to be taught some things that other girls need to be taught. Because the minute you fold your arms, your stomach pokes out. So if I'm going to sit down and I'm wearing a jacket like this, I will undo this button and then do this, my skirt and then sit like this. That's one lovely way of sitting. Beautiful, beautiful, but no, because you have one foot this way and one foot that way. You're wrong. Yes, get some style to it. No, that's wrong. Very nice. That's wonderful. <laughs> Very impressed. Thank you. OK, this one, fantastic. Let's see what happens. Well. <laughs> We had to walk down the stairs with a book on our head. Amazing. Wonderful. Oh, you are wonderful. It was really hard and like you couldn't look down to see the steps, so you didn't know when the stairs ended. Oh. Oh. I think we all looked really funny walking down the stairs with a book on our heads. Oh, dear. Oh. oh. Oh, ladies, I am very, very proud of you. Thank, Thank you, too. And I do hope you've listened and learned. Congratulations, ladies. And don't waste your life. It's a treasure. Still to come. Let's do the It's Light Camera Action on the red carpet. I could definitely get used to that. But who will reveal too much? It's the death. That's a no-no. I said it, and I'm like... Oh. And later... Just be a little softer. Some of the girls lose their poise at a ladylike photo shoot. <laughs> Can I have a second? I'm never gonna stop. I'm gonna be 
on top. And the girls and I were all around the pool um, soaking up some sun. And in walks Rachel Finch. Hello. I definitely recognised her face when she was walking down the stairs. I knew that she had participated in Miss Universe. How are we all? Good. Excited? Yeah. Rachel Finch, she's gorgeous, so we were all freaking out a little bit. I'm very excited to be here to announce the biggest challenge in the competition so far with the biggest reward. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm the brand ambassador for Nissan. And tomorrow, I'm shooting a television commercial for the Nissan Dualis. Three of you ladies will be joining me to appear in the national television commercial for Nissan. <laughs> this will be your first paid job as models. It's my last I was so excited. Straight away, I'm like, yep, yeah, I'm going to win this. I knew that I had to get my A game on. Tonight, at a red carpet premiere, <laughs> you will face fans, the media, the paparazzi and the public at a mock premiere of Australia's next top model, the movie. What the friggin' heck? So when you arrive at the Art Deco Ritz Cinema in the Nissan 370Z, we want graceful exits from the cars. We want composure on the red carpet, and we want poise under pressure in front of the waiting media. Oh my God. Good luck, and hey, I'll see you at the movie premiere of Australia's Next Top Model. <laughs> Don't be late. Hello, and welcome to our live coverage of the cinematic event of the year, the premiere of Australia's Next Top Model, the movie. I'm joined on the red carpet at the magnificent Ritz Cinema by the one and only top model judge, Alex Perry, feeling very excited. I'm very excited. I love a red carpet and I can't wait to see what our girls are going to bring us here tonight. I'm hoping to see some spectacular fashion. So let the games begin. Let's do this. I'm trying to keep my nerves as subdued as I can. I'm just worrying about how I'm going to elegantly get out of the car. Like you just hit with a wall of screaming. It is quite a crazy situation. You know what, she's a shy girl, but she's just cruised in here like she's done that a million times before. Absolutely. Yeah. All right, enjoy the movie. Get on in there. I would not have expected for the first girl off the rank to act like that. Hey, you know me. I would have loved it if she did something wrong, <laughs> but I think that that she was great. This would be a really big challenge to like prove that I actually am more outgoing, like I'm not really shy. Now that car you just got out of is yeah. amazing. Can you tell me a bit about it? Um, it's Nissan 370Z. It's absolutely amazing. Um, it's a new sports car, it's a convertible. She knows about the car. Yes. She's a really shy girl, but I've seen some real confidence here yes. in her. Or even if she's been really nervous, she's kind of pushed through it. Yeah. And I, you know, I reckon she's done a good job. There was just all these flashing lights and people screaming and it was, it was really intense. Tell me, Didier Cohen, now, is he as good looking in real life? Yes, yeah. he is. Would you date him? No, he's too old for me. Oh, right. Okay. He's too old for me. Where do you want to be in five years' time? Modelling in Paris or Rome or something? 
got something, Ballarat. Yeah, the car you got out of. Really nice car. Gorgeous. Well, tell me, what's it called? Um, the Nissan X25 or something. Ooh, I'm not sure, actually. She's just forgotten the name of the car she arrived in. Instant death. That's, Instant death. That's a no-no. I have no idea. I just made up a random number. First thing I notice is hunched shoulders. Do you know what? She looks like a weightlifter that's just done a few too many lap pull downs. Stop. And then they just. Well, you're looking gorgeous tonight. Thank you so much. Tell me about your outfit. I am wearing Gloria. Oh, Leah de Gloria. Sorry. If I were Leah de Gloria, but I'd want to kill her. What is this Well, she exited the car with pure confidence. I think she's one of the most ladylike. Yes. Because they're just very composed. For a moment, I was kind of like, imagine if this was real and this was actually happening and this was this was your life. That car you got out of is absolutely gorgeous. Tell me a little bit about it. Nissan 373Z. Love that car. If I could afford one right now, I would definitely buy one. <laughs> now, there's a rumour going around that you and Didier Cohen are a thing. Oh, my God. How am I going to answer this? What's happening there? Definitely a rumour, but I guess I could say I wish. <laughs> I think she looks absolutely stunning. Her silhouette is gorgeous. From top to toe, she's groomed perfectly. Yep. Hello, hello. Welcome to Sydney Confidential. How are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm very good, thanks. Is there anybody special in your life? The reporter asked about it, and I think everybody was a bit shocked. I've never made it a secret, because it's something that I don't think should be a secret. a mock red carpet event for Australia's Next Top Model, the movie. Is there anybody special in your life? Um, yes, there's somebody special in my life. Can you tell me a bit about them? Um, oh, come on, don't be shy. Yeah, well, I have a girlfriend at the moment, but yeah. <laughs> so I do have a girlfriend, and I think I've been with her for about a year now, and I think everybody was a bit shocked. But I wasn't going to lie to her about anything because I don't really have anything to hide. Where's she tonight? She's at home. She doesn't want to come out to something like this. <laughs> <laughs> well, you look great flying Thank solo. You. Enjoy the movie. Thank you. She was a complete lady. She was probed on that question, and I think that she did it beautifully. Hi. <laughs> oh, the crowd are going wild. They're just loving her, aren't they? The biggest asset is that, that smile. Beaming. I, I, can, I can feel the heat coming from it. <laughs> I felt confident, got out of the car. I was like, let's do this. Oh, pose off. Classic pose in front of the car. I mean, that was the million dollar missing shot. What's your name? I've always loved being in front of a crowd. I've always loved, you know, having fun with people and, like, getting in touch with their emotions. She looks so at home with yeah. that red carpet. It's like she's done this before. She's oozing confidence. Absolutely. That is a serious hand you've got going on oh, there. Tell me, you. is it real or is it fake? It's actually real. It's yeah. very real. Nothing healthy about a tan, so always wear sunblock. Always. <laughs> Very good message. But yes. Now tell me that car you got out of. Yes. So tell me a bit about that. Oh my god, you can't even hear yourself thinking it. It's a Nissan 350Z and it's one of the new sports models. She did stumble over the make of the car. It's a 370Z, not a 350Z. No, I said it and I'm like, oh. On a scale of 1 to 10 of how determined I was, I was probably about 100, maybe 101, I don't know, somewhere around there. She's very graceful. Yeah, really elegant. Very elegant. Thanks for the opportunity. Loving every moment of it. Fantastic. Everyone's shouting your name and saying, like, Shannon, we love you. And I'm like, I could definitely get used to that. I reckon it was sick.
She's really connecting. Yes, she's listening. Yeah, and looking directly in the eyes. Now tell me, Australia's Next Top Model, the movie, is what you're seeing tonight. Yes. What have you heard about that? Um, there's a lot of highs and lows for all the girls, and it's all about their journey. So I'm expecting it to be quite good, quite <laughs> riveting. Very impressive. Nice. Very good. Nice. That is a seasoned professional. Yeah. Oh my gosh. The prize, a commercial for Nissan. This is the challenge you want to win. So, you know, I thought that for their first red carpet, I think generally all the girls did really well. Some stood out more than others. Yeah. Shannon, I think, did really well. For a young girl, I think she was sophisticated beyond mm. her years and, and did it really beautifully. Madeline. I thought she brought a freshness and a youthfulness to that red carpet. I thought mm. she was really lovely. I loved what Shanali did. I thought that Brooke did a really beautiful job. I thought that she brought a, a, a poise and a, an elegance, which I'm sure Miss Daly would be really loving. You know who my favourite was today? Who? It was Diana. That was her red carpet. I mm. thought she was absolutely spectacular. She was the most exuberant, yeah. the most vivacious, and she didn't care what Elle was thinking or what the media were thinking or what the fans were thinking. Or what Nissan were thinking. <laughs> she forgot the model of the car. Well, I think we've come to a conclusion, mm -hmm. and I think we've picked the best. I'm really happy with them. Mm, me too. I was so nervous. I was basically just sitting there in my mind thinking, I want this prize, I want this prize, I want this prize. There's so many girls around you, so many beautiful girls. You're like, oh, have I got this? This is a massive competition and hopefully I win. Girls, your first red carpet experience. You did an amazing job. Some of you better than others, but there were three that really stood out to us today. And I've got to say, all of you tonight looked absolutely stunning. I know how daunting it is on the red carpet, especially for your first time. So congratulations. But the three lucky ladies who will be joining me in the Nissan television commercial tomorrow, what better way to announce their names than up on the silver screen? It's such a big thing to be on a commercial, so I really want to win this. Oh my god, no freaking way, man. I lost it. It was so awesome seeing my name there. Part of me was just like, stay confident, just, you know, you can do this, you're gonna win, you're gonna win. I was so happy, I was so happy. And the best part was that it was paid. <laughs> my heart was beating and I was thinking, I just hope that my name is gonna pop up. I had a lot of hope that my name would come up because I was hoping they would overlook my little mistake. Oh! <gasps> I was dumbfounded, I couldn't believe that. I had won. I was pretty heartbroken. I honestly just got like a kick in the gut. It's a really big slap in the face. I definitely thought I deserved that commercial. Today's the day we get to work with Rachel Finch and shoot the Nissan Duelist ad. And I'm very excited. had three hours sleep and got up right and early. Okay, I need a coffee. <laughs> it's really crazy to think that I'm going to be on a TV commercial. I can't believe we're each earning $1,500. It's probably the easiest money I'll, I'll ever make. This is the life that I want to live. I do want to be a model, and if this is what it's all about, then bring it on. Check. I don't know, I think you have to buy something special with your first check, True. it being yeah, your first bottle of professional champagne. job. I can legally buy champagne. You can. I'm going to buy some champagne. Maybe That's it.
The winner of Australia's Next Top Model will receive a modelling contract with world-renowned IMG Models and a trip to Paris for its international casting. They'll feature on the cover and in an eight-page editorial for leading fashion magazine, Harper's Bazaar. This year's winner will also drive away in Nissan's stylish New Dualis TIL and take home $20,000 in cash with thanks to Tresemme. Gonna be on top. Going into the photo shoot, I put a lot of pressure on myself to do amazing and get a better outcome than I did with the challenge. Good morning, models. Good, Good morning. morning. We're at Murata School of Philosophy in the beautiful Sorensen Gardens. This is our fourth photo shoot, and we can all see what you do well naturally, but we want to see versatility. We want to see something new. Your photographer for today is Derek Henderson. His work has been in Vogue, ID in New York Times, just to name a few. Today we're looking for a modern take on the 50s housewife. So for me that means sophisticated, elegant, demure, very natural. And I'm sure you're all fully prepped after your deportment lesson with June Daly Watkins. So let's have an amazing day, okay? Woo! The theme was really cool. I really liked the whole 1950s housewife kind of thing. It was all about elegance and poise. Kind of posh, ladylike, and it's got a modern twist to it, a little bit of an edge. It only takes one bad week, so I definitely, I always feel like there's added pressure onto me. I definitely don't want to let anybody down. Hey. Hey, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm good. Today we wanted to make it quick and we want to see what you got. I can do it. Yeah, that's really good actually, yeah. See this hand, just bring it across this way a little more. That's My it. photo shoots like are my best aspect. Yes, I love taking photos. That's good, that's beautiful. Turn your head a little bit this way too, Ashley. Yeah. Ashley, every shoot, I think she's amazing. And again today, the photographer loved her, said that he would book her in a second, and she killed it. You know how you do that little thing with your eyes? Okay. That, that's it? That's good. Good girl, that's beautiful. I'm good. I'm good. Yeah? Uh -huh. Looks beautiful, Didiak. Very nice, oh, Ashley. Thank you, very Natural. Thank you so much. Thank you. Well done. I think June Deli Wonkins will be very impressed with my ladylike skills today. She taught me well. I think I'm going to get you to walk. That's it. That's good. That's good. That's good. Let's do that again. That's it. Come this way now. Go. I'm definitely getting more competitive and I feel like I'm in a good place now and I definitely think I could win. That's it. Keep looking out like that. Let's do a couple more like that and then we've got it. I think Shanali would definitely make a great model. She's got the right figure, the right attitude. She's very elegant. Yeah, beautiful, yeah. I thought I was giving the photographer what he wanted, and I thought I was being elegant and poised. Yeah, no, that's not quite right, that shape. Try spinning around to me a little. That's really nice with your chin, that tiny little bit up. Beautiful. OK, got it. Hey. Hi. How'd you go? Good, I think, yeah. How do you feel? I'm I guess we'll have to see, huh? Okay. It's all about the photograph. Yeah. Why? Didier didn't really say much to me afterwards, so that's made me kind of worried. <laughs> Can I have a second? Wait. Nice to meet you, nice bro. Nice to meet you also. Are you ready? I'm ready, I Let's am. Let's do it. I awesome. think I'll get you walking. You good? Are you a good walker? I can, I can try. That's it. Yeah, that's good. That's good, that's good, that's good. Towards me. Okay, wait. It's all about what June Daly Watkins was talking to us about. It's all composure and feel really elegant while I'm trying to walk through the grass. That's nice. <laughs> beautiful. That's good. Beautiful. Last night um, shows that just one slip up can cost you something, so I definitely don't want let this um, photo shoot sleep. I really want to give it my all. Diana is such an outgoing character. She's always so fiery and she's always out there and everyone has to kind of bring it in for this shoot. So this might be a little bit difficult for her. We don't want to try too hard, you know. It's just very simple. 
Yeah, and you don't have to do a hell of a lot. You can keep straight on with your face. That's it. And it's more like even if you just smile a tiny little bit with your eyes. Okay. okay. I don't think I connected with the photographer as much as I would have liked. Okay, cool. Yeah. Done. Thank, Thank you, you so very much. much. I didn't feel confident at all walking away from that photo shoot. Do you prefer Des? What's that? Des. Des. Yeah, you can Des? call me Des. Got it, Des. No problem. You can call me Shaz if you want. Shaz? Yeah. Des Shaz. and Shaz. It's on Des and Shaz on set. <laughs> really? oh, I was feeling really good about it with Des, Des and Shaz. It was good fun. Oh, that's good, just there. Just come really straight on it. Okay, and go. That's it, that's good, yeah. Keep doing those little smiles. That's good, that's good. Shannon is very unusual looking, but also very beautiful, and that, I think, would go a long way for her. Just to give me a little smile with your eyes. Yeah, a little bit of friendliness, yeah. That's it, that's cool. And just smile at me a little bit there. That's it, that's I good. don't really like smiling in photos, only because I've never really found the right smile that I really like on me. That's good, that's good. You've got a good smile, do it again, yeah. That's it. April needs to be a bit more confident. Her smile is beautiful. Look out the side again, how you did. Yeah. That's cool. Why not? That's good. Just stay like that. That's fine. Stay there, there. That's good. These are the shots. That's good. Now look at me there, just like that. That's good. That's good. All right. All right. Good. All right. Thank you. This girl's got the goods. She has a beautiful face. She's got an incredible figure. Everyone on the panel just is blown away by her beauty, but she's had a hard time just conveying that through the lens. Look at you. Hi. You look beautiful. Thank you. So do you. Oh, so do I. <laughs> I'm going to face my body towards no, you. No, I think, I think it's good when you're, yeah, like that. That's cute. The little smile was nice. Yeah. I always pull oh, a good photo. Right. I'm not, I'm not yeah. gonna be shy okay. about that. Yeah. Make your eyes go I think there. I am one of the genuine contenders, but I don't think the girls know it yet. Take your arms out and pop them back in again. Like just resting there or just pulling in? Keep, no, keep the hands like that, because you know how, yeah, something really strong at the yep. end, so you're kind of like this. That's it. Like that? Yeah. That's pretty cool. I actually. can just go out there and do the photo shoot without thinking about it. I usually do pretty okay, so... <laughs> I sometimes think she just maybe drifts a little bit with her concentration. She's doing what she wants to do. See, I'm thinking I might do this with you because you've got such a beautiful face. When I walked out, the photographer straight away said he wanted to do like a close-up shot. He's like, I like your face. I think you're interesting. That's beautiful, just there. Yeah. I can feel like locked fingers because my forehead is just that big. My unique look is obviously going to help me out. It's pretty cool. That's beautiful, like that. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. You're done. Huh? Very good. Yeah. This isn't really my style. I think my style usually is a bit more boyish, but I'll handle being a lady really well just because I don't think my legs can open in this dress. That's it, Taylor. You do your thing with your face. The body looks fantastic. That's it. That's cool. That's it. Taylor, like always, looks stunning. She looks beautiful. I'm just scared that she's one dimension. She just has the same look every single frame. Lady like when I want to be, but you know, it is quite hard. <laughs> Abby, be careful with your hands, you know, like when they're on that, yeah, just make sure they're very soft on there. And watch your dress as well, too, sweet, yeah. I try to get the intensity in my eyes, so hopefully the inner poshness can come through and the snobbiness. <laughs> and just make sure you relax your neck a little bit, sweet, that's it. That's beautiful. Aesthetically, she look looks like a model. From the leg, the body, everything. It's just, it's hard for her face to really connect with the camera, and I'm scared that's gonna really bring her down. You can stay on that angle. I feel like I look like Marsha Holmes, but um, I'll have to work it. <laughs> hey. Hi. How are you? I'm good, how are you? <laughs> how are you liking the wig? Well, it's all right. You know, definitely suits the theme for today, so yeah. That's good, I'm in pretty tight now, that's nice. That's I didn't right. know if I looked that's great, but um, I'll rock it. Rock what I've got. 
That's beautiful. That's nice with the hand. It's really soft. Yeah, keep that. You know how you flicked your eyes like that? That's cool. Yeah, we got it. Yeah. So do you think Ducky fit the brief? I think she fitted the brief really well. Time to get rid of this thing. Leaving behind the 60s, sister. <laughs> I'm gonna be on top. like the most scariest part of this whole experience. It's the fourth week into it and I don't want to go home the fourth week and no one does. I'm going to just keep fighting and fighting until I can't fight anymore and I'm not giving up. I'm not really that confident that I'm going to get through elimination. Hi girls. This week, you're given a crash course in elegance from the first lady of fashion, June Daly Watkins. You then got to demonstrate your newfound poise and grace at your first red carpet movie premiere. And joining me to see who gave a blockbuster worthy performance is the damsel in distress, Charlotte Dawson. The perfect gentleman, Didier Cohen. And of course, our very own Prince Charming, Alex Perry. Okay, girls, let's take a look at your photos. Brooke, please step forward. You're one of the winners of the Red Carpet Challenge? Yes, I was. It was such a great feeling sitting there and seeing my name pop out on screen. And what about the photo shoot? It was really cool. I was just in a field. It was really sort of casual and really natural. How'd you find working with Derek? He was really, really nice and gave great direction. He took my very first photos. Bit of history. You He's 107. <laughs> I think that I think I heard a couple of people making jokes about age, so maybe that's why. <laughs> not, with, not with you, with him. <laughs> <laughs> Let's look at the photos, shall we? You're a beautiful girl. Does it fill the brief for me? Not really. It's just kind of a standard beauty shot. Aside from the fact it's a beauty shot, how many people look that good that close up? Nobody. That is one stunning cover girl right there. Thanks, Brooke. Thank you very much. Ashley. So how did you like the photo shoot? I had so much fun. I think I went really well on the photo shoot. Let's have a look. That's beautiful. You look amazing. Your body, your face, I, I love that shot. I love it too. <laughs> Good. You're shorter, so you need yeah. to try harder. You're beautiful, you photograph beautifully, but you gotta try and elongate yourself. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Jade. How was your photo shoot? Oh, I loved it. Um, my grandma's from that era. Oh my God, I'm from that era. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. All right, let's have a look at your photo. I like this. I think you look stunning. How do you like this shot? I like it. Yeah? Yeah. Why did you get emotional after the shoot? I was like, hey, um, so how do you think I went? And then you said, you have to wait and see. And it made me really anxious. Oh, okay. so mean. Okay. That must have been terrible for you. Well, my feedback for you on the photo, it's a beautiful photo. Killer! Beautiful, amazing, gorgeous. Thank you. Rhiannon. No, I don't like it. I don't think it's great. It's almost like, a, you know, like one of those old knitwear catalog pictures. I was with you on set and you don't really take direction well. So the photographer would tell you to do things and you just wouldn't really do it because you almost think you know what you're doing too much. I, I personally like this shot and I guess that's all you've got is your own opinion, but I do get what Didier's saying. If you didn't take direction, that's not cool. So I think you need yeah. to work on that. Thank you. Thanks. Diana. How did you feel on the photo shoot? I think I was a bit out of my comfort zone in this photo shoot. It was something really different. All right, well, let's have a look. I don't think it's your best shot, to be honest. I don't think, I don't know, it's just a nothing shot for me. Um, I don't know where you're looking. I don't dislike it, but I don't like it either. It's kind of a bit, um, 
Yeah. Just middle of the road for me. I'm going to say that I, I really like the picture, but I don't love the picture. Yeah. Madeline, let's have a look at your photo. Madeline. <laughs> a complete transformation of Madeline. Oh, thank you so much. Thanks, thank Madeline. You. Thank you. Melissa. Oh, bleep, 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 mm -mm, bleep. Wow, I love you, that is all. That is my favourite photo out of all of them. I reckon it's probably the best photo that I've ever seen in this competition. Of any series, this is special. Let's go. Abby. Let's take a look at your photo. It's not a photo that either engages me or makes me think of that lovely retro feeling. That, that, so I'm a, di a bit disappointed, Abby, sorry. What were you thinking of when you were posing? Um, I was trying to think of really elegant and a little bit sly, like maybe like a little bit mysterious. I don't know, you're not sort of convincing with what you're doing. Right, thank you guys. April. Oh, this is a different look from you. I like this shot. I think you look like you're from that era for sure. You do beautiful shots every time and that's undeniable. It's variety. You don't bring the variety. And I feel you really rely on this three-quarter sultry look to the camera. Thank you. This is getting really tough now. There's only 13 girls, and we're definitely not in agreement. Yeah. Yeah. So not in agreement. Taylor? I just don't think it's right that I see the same model doing the same look every single time. Shannon? She still reeks of 80s supermodel to me. She's not versatile. Enough. No. Ducky? That's a great shot. I agree with you, Charlotte. <gasps> what? I agree with you. Ashley? Ashley is by far my favourite girl. Every single photo shoot, she kills it. She looks like a woman, yeah. like sexy woman. I'm not convinced. I think she's a little bit shorter than all of the other girls yeah, as well. Yeah, I knew the short so, thing was yeah, going to well, prejudice you, you know? We're not looking for Australia's next top hobbit. Shanali. She looks amazing. amazing. That's, a, that's a model. She's yeah, stunning, man. Her awareness of her body was really great. Abby? The problem is that was one of her only frames. She has such a body and she looks like a model, but every single frame she doesn't look like a model on the face. Just not a very good photo. Okay, Rhiannon. I had the huge talk to her last week about the attitude we all have. Okay, I like this shot. You really I... like that shot. I don't know, I liked it. I don't know, I got a feeling from it. I've loved this week because some things that we wanted to happen have happened. And some of the girls that weren't producing great photos that I really liked have brought it this week. So let's get the girls back in. In front of me are 13 gorgeous girls, but in my hands I only have 12 photographs. If I call your name, you're still in the running to become Australia's next top model. Please step forward to receive your photograph. Melissa, step forward. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. Madeline. Thank you so Congratulations. much. Congratulations. Thank you. Shanali. Congratulations, you're through. Ducky. Thank you. Ashley. You produced a killer shot this week. Well done, you're through. Thank you so much. Taylor. A trademark shot yet again, well done. You're still a contender. Thank you. Jade, congratulations. Still in the running to be Australia's next top model. Thank you. Brooke. Well done, you're still in the competition. Thank you so much. Shannon. You did well in the challenge, but we think you can do much better in the photo. Well done, you're through. Thank you. Thank you. April. We want to see more fight from you, but well done. Thank you. Thank you. 
I don't think I'd really have words to describe how I'd feel if I went home. Diana. Congratulations, you're still in the running to become Australia's next top model. Oh, good boy. <laughs> Abby and Rhiannon, please step forward. I'm afraid for one of you, your top model journey is about to end. Abby, you have the ability to do well, but you're giving off the impression that you may be here for the ride. Rhiannon, we want everybody to enjoy this experience, but there is a purpose to the lessons and challenges. I have one photo left in my hand. That girl will go and join the other 11 girls still left in the competition. The other one, unfortunately, will have to go back to the house, pack your bags and leave. Congratulations. Abby, you're still in the running to become Australia's next top model. She lives in a Rhiannon, I'm so sorry. It's time to go she home. Abby, you can go join the other girls. She walks on a different road. She sees different I was really shocked because I know that there's girls in the competition that are weaker than I. I don't feel that I'm better than anyone. I just think that I'm stronger than some people. You will see me again. <laughs> I hope that I will be successful. It's what I want, so I'm willing to do whatever it takes to get there. to fox8.tv to chat live with Rhiannon and get the complete top model experience with comps, prizes and exclusive content. Fox8.